we know pretty well what games are coming out for the rest of the year and when. Yeah. Most games have release dates. So we wanted to go through kind of month by month and the two of us kind of highlight some games of like, we're definitely playing this. We are fitting this into our schedule uh -huh. and making some tough decisions about some games that we're interested in that we just might not have the time, the time to play. Yeah. The segment is called Get Ready Because Kid is About to Panic. <laughs> no, no, I think I have it figured out. Do you? Last yeah. year, you did not. When you we, really had When we were putting this together <laughs> earlier, I had a moment of panic, but I think I've solved it now. Oh. Yes. By doing what? Cloning? No. Never no, sleeping? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Uh, okay. So let's start with July, which is the month that we are now in. And I'll yes. just kind of quickly take us through and we'll, we'll talk about what we think. Okay. Um, and this is not everything. I think this is yeah. just games that are, you know, big and notable or games that we have noted that we're interested in. Yes. Uh, July 16th, College Football 25. July 17th, uh, Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate. Oops, I wrote it as Splintered Fat in our, in our like, document. Fat? <laughs> <laughs> Too much pizza? <laughs> uh, July 18th, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess on July 19th. A Ranger, which we talked about a little while back on July 26th. Oops, July 25th, Earth Defense Force 6, and then July 27th, the new Denpa Men. Denpa! So I wouldn't say there's anything here that's like earth shattering, but there right. are some games I'm interested in. Yes, the good thing about July that I'm feeling is that these games are, some of these games are good like dabble games. Totally. Like you don't have to 100% the new Denpa Man. You know what well, I mean? Like you could, well. Speak for yourself. Maybe you do, but maybe you can like dabble a few of these games at the same time, um, which is nice because sometimes you're like hit with three huge like JRPGs in a month and you're like, what do I do? Well, I you mean, know? let's not, let's not mislead ourselves. We are both playing Elden Ring at the moment, we which are. is a big undertaking. So I think it's good that July is a little light because we'll probably be keeping on with that. Still hopefully <clears throat> yeah. keeping on. Yeah. So for me, I am interested in Splintered Fate, Ninja Turtles and... I, but I don't think that's going to like take over my life. I right. do think we should get Nintendo World Championships and check it out. Yeah, exactly. But uh, again, I don't think that's going to be, you know, an all day, every day kind of thing. Kanitsugami is the one that I have circled. I'm just so curious about what this game is. We played it at Summer Game Fest and I just want to see more. That game is on Game Pass. So it's like a real, you know, low risk, easy thing, easy thing for us to check out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think um, Ninja Turtles would be fun to to just play a little bit, at least um, play a little bit of multiplayer mode would be fun. And then uh, I'm definitely interested in Path of the Goddess as well. That game was such like a interesting one that we played at Summer Game Fest. And I still, I was playing that game for like at least 30 minutes. Yeah. And I don't think I fully grasp what is happening yeah. in that game, yeah. but I'm very interested um and then a ranger is the other one that you I'd should like play to this check out because i think um, again on paper it is something that i would love but it's another like very easy little dabble game i can play this alongside something else and and not you know feel the yeah. pressure to be playing a ranger for like 10 hours yeah a day i, wa I want you to play that because i can't because i'm not smart enough <laughs> Um, Earth Defense Force 6, I, I really like that series. I haven't heard much about that game, though, so yeah. I, I don't yet know what to make of it, but it's it's got. I'm curious about it. And then the new right. Denpa Men, I'll wait and see. Maybe what, wait on I'll that. wait. I'll, I'm going to take a wait and see. Yeah. So that's July, and it gets, starts to get real heavy. This is the month where I had my freak out, but let's go through this. So heavy indie focus at the start of the month thank goodness you're here august 1st cat quest 3 august 8th steam world heist 2 august 8th madden august 16th black myth wukong august 20th oh my god concord remember that no. august from the playstation event august 23rd monster okay. jam showdown i'm making a note of that for myself and nobody you? else august yeah. 29th visions of okay. mana august 29th Shadow of the Ninja Reborn, also August 29th. She's August 29th. And then a day later, Star Wars Outlaws, August 30th. Sheesh. That is a heavy amount of games in August. So those first three games I mentioned, I really want to play all of those. Yeah, and this is too. where I panicked at first because I thought, oh my gosh, I can't do this. But here's how I can. How? 
I already have a code for Steam World Heist Two. Aha! Uh-huh. So I'm gonna, gonna be, finish that. I'm gonna, gonna finish Steam World Heist Two before that game even comes out. So, so you're gonna do that in July. Check that one off. So what about other games? Thank goodness you're then? here. I don't get the sense that that game is terribly long. Right. So I'm gonna plan to play through it that week and then have cat. Cat I, people may not. Cat Quest is like my most anticipated game at the moment. Cat Quest is so that cool. demo was so legit. Cat Quest it's three. So good. So I think I have cracked the code on how I can play all three of these games. So early early August, basically, you'll be able to play Cat Quest because the other yeah. Steam World you'll be finished with. I'm not playing Madden. One. Are you joking? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not playing <laughs> Concord. No. 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 I, I'm not interested in that. Black Myth Wukong, though, I am could be interesting. interested in. That. Yeah. As a Chinese person, oh, all right, I feel some type of way about supporting my 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 the legends of my people yeah. and motherland. Okay, <laughs> um, Monster Jam. I that's you. I'm believe it or not a huge Monster Jam fan. I will get that, but again, it's like I can play that periodically, so it's fine. So this this glut of games at the end of the month. This is tough. Visions of Mana. I think I'm going to skip. Oh. Shadow of the Ninja Reborn. I'm going to get that. That looks good. And then Star Wars Outlaws, I'm interested, but I need to see reviews. I think for me, I'm going to probably want to check out Visions of Mana and Shadow of the Ninja. No oh. Star Wars for me, though. What What about Shadow of the Ninja? I think it looks cool. Okay, we played that game at uh, GDC. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks super cool. Okay. It's really hard. Nice. But it, is, it is really cool. Now, what are you going to do about these three indie games? Are you interested in all those? Um, I definitely am. I, I'm really interested in Thank Goodness You're Here. That game is so weird and funny. I, I do want to play more than, you know, sort of the demos that we've played in the past. Cat Quest is one that I I want to play, but I want to play with other people. So hopefully you're playing and oh. other people are. Because it's like multiplayer too. So I want to I want to play that with like friends. And Steam World, yeah, depending on when... I get a code for that because I asked for a switch code. Um, hopefully I'll get it a little bit earlier as well and can play play through that, you know, before it comes All right. out in July. All right. So, yeah. So that's August, September now. Oh. This is where some tough decisions need to oh be made. Boy. Here and we and go. again, let's uh, I left it off with saying I might be playing Star Wars Outlaws. Right. Which they have said is not it's it's about 30 hours, not the world's longest game, but still. But it's still 30 hours. It's still something because on September 6th, just a week later, we have Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. Yes. Same day, Astrobot. Oh, no. Uh Uh-oh. September 9th, Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2. You have been looking forward to that for like a year and a half. Drop everything, though, because on September 13th, Funko Fusion comes out. You okay? have been looking Just forward to that. For cancel about a your day. plans. Take the week off. Take the month off if you have to. <laughs> September 23rd, Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. September 24th, Epic mm. Mickey Rebrush. They just announced Ooh. the date for that. September 26th, another Earth Defense Force. This is World Brothers 2. This is that kind of Minecraft looking spin off. Oh. And then. Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom right there, September 26th. Yikes. Oh. What are we going to do? <laughs> well, I'm going to play Ace Attorney. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm not going to be playing that. <laughs> no. I want to play Ace Attorney, but I think I can still check out Astrobot. Because, that's again, that one is another game where I can play two games at once. My trick is to play five games at once. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> so... I am not an Ace Attorney guy, so I'm I'm going to skip that. You're going to skip that. That's fine. And I think if I had to choose, so let's say Star Wars Outlaws does have good reviews. Yeah. And I'm I, I'm pretty certain Astrobot will have good reviews. Oh, I think yeah. I would prefer Astrobot. Astrobot. <clears throat> because you know there's probably going to be the inevitable Ubisoft price drops <laughs> and all of that <laughs> stuff. So maybe I'm making that decision now of like no matter what I'm going to wait on that. Like okay. unless it's like a ten out of ten like oh OMG. You have to play this right now. Yeah, yeah. That's I'll true. probably wait and I'll go with Astro Bot. Warhammer Space Marine, though, I really like that first game, but you I love this game. It's been a while, and it, you know, it's kind of different people making this game. I'll <gasps> I'll wait and see on reviews on really? that. Really? This is like 180 from where well, you were. You have you're walking back on this a lot. I'm surprised. I need I need to manage myself here. Because I can't just be like, well, I'm gonna play everything. Do it. I, I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to be extremely excited about Space Marine. 
But if I'm playing Astro Bot like two days before, like I'm probably not just dropping that like a hot potato. Yeah, that you know? because you probably can't because it's going to be fun. Right. You know what's going to be good. And then I will be good with everything else until, until Zelda, Zelda comes out. I'm going to check out this Quidditch Champions. Yeah, sure. Because I love I love the um, the Harry Potter game last year. I will say that really I did play the first Earth Defense Force World Brother. It's pretty cool. It ran okay. like garbage on the Switch. So I'm interested in more of that, but on a different system. Steam. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. So Echoes of the Wisdom, we both got obviously of that the wisdom? circled. Excuse me, Echoes of Wisdom. Yes. I always think it's called, I always think it's echoes of time for some reason when I'm writing it down and then I'm like that's not right it's echoes of wisdom why do I do that why is, maybe it's time, time and Zelda yeah. is so like linked but yes echo I'm glad that it's coming out later in September because then that will be yeah you'll have there's some a, time to get to it there's a small window to do Astrobot and a couple other things right right October. Wow. Uh, obviously, October is Halloween. We got some scary games. Spoopy. Silent Hill 2, October 8th. This Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred DLC. That's also October 8th. Mm-hmm. Did you know that this Fantasy Life game had a release date? I and it's October 10th. No, And that is interesting. I found a clip of this from a Nintendo Direct where they just said October 10th. I didn't remember that. How did we miss Until that? I was making this list. Okay. So that's the date for your new Fantasy Life. Great. Okay. I can't wait. Metaphor Refantasio, October 11th. Mario Party Jamboree, October 17th. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Coblop 6, a.k.a. October 25th. <laughs> Sonic X Shadow Generations. Oh, X. October 25th. And then Life is Strange Double Exposure, October 29th. I feel okay about this month. I feel good. I feel really good. What are, you, gonna do- be- what are you doing here? I'm going to be playing uh, Fantasy Life and Life is Strange. And we're we're definitely going to get Mario Party because we want to play for yes. our big meetup, right? Halloween party meetup. Oh my gosh, Halloween party, Mario Party <laughs> Jamboree meetup will be so fun for our community. So we're definitely going to do that. You know, push comes to shove, I think I might be okay skipping everything in October. Like if I really get swept away with some and, September and I, and game, it, and if I want to take my time with Zelda, which I do. Yeah. There's nothing here that's like I have to play this. Not nothing here is day one for me. Right. Thing. So I can always get it and play it right. like later in like I, December or something. Like I that. do want to check out this new Call of Duty just because it's been so long since I've played one. Just be like, what's what's been going on here? And it'll be on Game Pass, so it's like, yeah, fine. Yeah. If I like it or not. The and marketing has worked. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> But I I, I want I, I don't have to play that day one. I just want to the check. dynamic rolling. The, you roll around so many ways to get shot. So I just I just want to check it shot. out. That's all. It looks cool. So looks okay, cool. so October might be a bit of a respite here after the, the the madness of September. Okay. November, not as much as you would think. For now, maybe some games will get slotted in later. But we have yeah. Mario and Luigi, Luigi Brothership November seventh, Anton Blast November twelfth. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D ah, November 14th. Oh yeah, must play. That's Assassin's nice. Creed Shadows November Uh-oh. 15th and then Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 November 19th. Why are all these games must plays in the November category? So, the first four things I mentioned there I think are must plays and that's going to be interesting. <laughs> what am I going to no! do? No, I hate it when this happens. What do you when mean no? Two- RPG, like two big RPGs and then, oh no, three. Dang it, we can't do this. Well, okay, so I have some good news. Hold on, what is your good news? So the good news is there is currently nothing notable listed as a release in December. So you can take your time. You have two Nothing. I looked at multiple sites, checked multiple places, nothing of note. What if someone announces something later? I do have a a couple games that have no date yet. We'll talk about those later, but... I feel like there could be some bleed into December with some of these games, which there's just going to have to be. Like Assassin's Creed, you're going to be playing that for much longer than a couple of weeks. So we we do have a fun tradition of Assassin's Creed being a Thanksgiving Thanksgiving game. game. So maybe I get Mario and Luigi. Beat it. Play that to completion. Yes. Beat it. Yes. And then that'll be around Thanksgiving, and I yes. start up Assassin's Creed. But what about Dragon Quest? That can wait. 
And then Anton Blast. I don't know. I don't can't imagine that's, that's that super long. duper long. So I could probably find yeah. time in between to you play. You can dabble Anton Blast and play Assassin's Creed at right. the same time. But so Dragon's Quest is probably the one that gets pushed. But I but I Into still feel December. for some reason I feel like I should buy it day one. Oh yeah. Of I course. just feel like I should. One hundred percent, yes. Yuji Hori is sitting in a tiny house that Nintendo <laughs> built. If you don't buy it day one, he has to stay in there forever. They're gonna keep putting slime plushies keep, in there. Just more slime plushies, no food. <laughs> So what are you doing? I'm going to I'm going to 100% day one Mario and Luigi bromance and then dabble Anton Blast while I play Assassin's Creed Shadows and then probably push Dragon Quest December. I'll check out Microsoft Flight Sim too cuz I like that game. You're usually not very honest yourself with yourself when we do these. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I don't believe You're I like I can play true. everything. But I do. I have more time than you. Brothership is a great, also earlier in the month, that's a great yeah. um, um, spoiler cast game for yeah, us. Lock, lock it Just going to circle that one. Actually, that's let me... Dis- let me oh, so, so, okay, so September, Zelda. Zelda could be a perfect for October. October, so yeah. We, there then, we go. You basically planned on the rest uh, of our... August. And then Nove- uh, November we don't even we'll we'll need to do this now. <laughs> no, we can't do this. Okay, it's too much. Okay, but anyway, that's the games that we're playing. Now... Oh? Yeah, I do have a, a handful of games that are listed as 2024, but do not have a specific date yet. So these are the oh. handful of big games that still need to get a date. Lego Horizon Adventures just says holiday. Oh. That I'm sure that'll okay. be a, that'll be in November, I'm sure. Yeah, it's probably November. Fantasian, Fantasian. Yeah, okay. that, that RPG, that also says holiday. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection, just 2024. Mm. And then Tales of the Shire, the, the Lord of the Rings cozy game, just says 2024. Okay. So... I, of those, I am definitely getting Fantasian and Marvel versus Capcom, regardless of where they fall. It lands, yeah. Lego Horizon, I think I'm going to skip. And Tales of the Shire, I want to see reviews, but I'm interested. I'm interested in Lego Horizon. Like, yeah. very interested. You should I check that play out. That game. Yeah. Um, Marvel versus Capcom. I just want to have it. I'm not yeah. good at those games, sure. but I just want it. But I want to play the Punisher thing. Yes. With you. Yes. That's, that looks really fun. And then Tales of the Shire. If No, I really like that game. and I, I think I you should like, get that. I think, I think I'm going to get it and play it over Christmas break. Because that's a nice, relaxing, like, cozy game yeah. to play when you're, like, stuck at home or something like that. Right, Christmas right, holidays, right, right. So. Whoa. Well, there you have it. Lock it in. Oh, God. Firm commitments. Sign Never the contract that says you will play these games or else. Again. Or else. Five, game, five games at once. <laughs> let's hope assassin's creed let's hope that's not like 90 hours like the last one well i'm not gonna be doing like some sort that of was one, just to finish 100%. the game that was not 100 no. that game was so long valhalla it was 30 hours the whole no, was 30 hours no you are so wrong really you're so wrong that's, shut up i'm gonna look at it right the now the game Hold is on. ridiculously how long how long to yes you look you look that assassin's... off as the sirens go off in sorry your... In my neighborhood. What is happening? Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? You don't have a good memory. Well, yeah, what does what it did say? You, what did you say? What did you say? 90 hours. Okay, it's 60 hours. It's really long. That is quite long. I would agree that that is quite you long. You have a terrible memory. People should know this about you.